Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to split cells with the text to columns feature of Excel. So in this example, we're going to look at how to split this full name column that contains first and last names into these two separate columns for the first and last name. And we're going to use the text to columns feature for this. Now I'll make this file that I'm using available for free download and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. So we're going to jump over to the begin sheet here and we just have this uh, column here that contains the full name only. And again, we wanna split that into first name and last name. So the first thing we're going to wanna to do is uh, make a duplicate copy of this column. I'm just gonna hover the mouse over the top part of the column here of the table and that'll select all the cells below it. We can right click copy or hit control C and then we can go over here and right click paste or control V. So it'll give us this new column here and we're going to then split this column. And that'll allow us to keep the existing column over here. If you don't wanna keep the existing column, you don't need to take this step to duplicate the column. But with this column selected here, we're going to go to the data tab on the ribbon and we're going to uh, click the text to columns button. That'll open up the text to columns wizard and it's a three step process, uh, really two steps for, for our situation. The first is that we're going to choose the file type. And in this case, we're going to choose delimited because we wanna split it based on a character. And that character is the space character between the first and last names. So we'll just leave this uh, as is and we'll hit next. On this uh, screen here, we then choose the delimiter. Uh, by default, tab is selected. We don't need tab, but we can leave that selected, it's fine. What we do need is space for the space character. So we'll check this box. And as you can see down here in the data preview, a vertical line is drawn between the first and last names. So that allows us to split. If you have a different character that you wanna split by, for example, this uh, column over here contains the at symbol and the email address, maybe you wanna split by that. You can absolutely do that with text to columns and you would select other here and then type that symbol, that being the at character, or maybe this dash character, you would just type those in the other field. But in this case, we'll just choose space. At this point, we can just hit finish. Uh, if we hit next here, we can do that. The third screen just allows us to choose the data types for each of the new columns. We can just leave those as general, like they are there. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, finish, and that will split the column and now give us two columns with both the first and the last name. And that's really the entire process. Of course, you'll wanna go rename each of these columns, first and last name, uh, rename those columns, but really that is the entire process there. Now there are some pros and cons to this technique. I have another video that explains how to do this with Power Query, which allows you to really fully automate this process. And what I mean by that is one of the potential disadvantages here is that if we get new data or our data changes, we're going to have to redo all of those steps. So if we got new data or the data changes or something like that, we'd wanna delete these two columns, then make a copy of the column again and redo the entire process. So it's gonna be a bit of manual work there if you need to uh, make updates to your data. So text to columns is great if you're just doing a quick job here and you just wanna split those out and maybe use that data somewhere else and your data is not gonna change or update, it's a great technique for that. Uh, another scenario where there's a bit of a disadvantage here is in that previous video on splitting text with Power Query, I showed a technique for doing this when your data potentially has three names. So in this case, some of these uh, fields here, or some of these cells have three names, like you can see here, uh, we have a middle name, and we looked at how to use Power Query to do that. With text to columns, this becomes a bit more challenging. You can still do it. I made a duplicate copy of the column over here and we can go again, data, text to columns. We can still split this by the space character and we're going to get three columns here. We'll just go ahead and hit finish. But as you'll see, uh, this isn't putting the columns or the cells in the correct column. So where we have three names, we get the last name in the right. Where we have two names, we get the last name in the middle column. So it's gonna require additional work to then move those uh, cells over. Of course, you could do that with a formula or something like that, uh, but you'll need to move this over to this column because this is the actual last name column here, and this will be the middle name column. So again, it requires some work there. With Power Query, it's much easier to do, so check out that previous video. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video on how to split text with Power Query. 
So I hope this has helped you. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions about this technique, please feel free to leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.